The research team is setting up a large-scale camera trap survey in the Overberg region. What we're actually looking for is photographs of leopards. We can use the images to estimate the population density of leopards in the Overberg region. This is the southernmost tip of Africa and the Cape Floral Kingdom hosts an incredibly diverse ecosystem, not only of the, the fane moss and forest habitats, but also the um, the animals that occupy the system with the apex predator of the, the leopard of the Cape. So in order to set up a large-scale camera trap survey, it is a huge process. It takes months and months of, of planning and organizing and, uh, and calculating. So you really need to, first of all, determine your research question. So once you know what you want to answer, then you can start to work out your methods and work out the best way of spacing out your, your equipment and that you've got everything exactly how it needs to be on the day in the field so that you can be as efficient as possible putting these camera traps up. The camera traps are an amazing tool for wildlife monitoring because they, they're like 24-hour field workers. They're permanently deployed in the field and they can always spot whatever animals passes by that gives us hard evidence of animals that we hardly ever get to see. Most of the mammals in these areas are very shy, they're nocturnal, they're very cryptic. Um, so with the camera traps we are able to get a very very good idea of all the mammals in an area and then also show that to the landowners um, and really uh, build this passion for, for wildlife in an area. Selecting the sites isn't just about uh, picking a spot on the day. We spend um, months in advance uh, looking at GIS layers and choosing the sort of potential locations um, using computer software and uh, also talking to all the landowners about their knowledge of the areas so that we can go in with a, a good strategy before we actually end up there on the ground and we have a, a solid idea of, of what we're going to do. So we're in the Galas National Park. We're going to one of our few sites that we've selected and we're excited to set them up and, and capture some leopards. We have to set up the cameras in such a way that we are able to identify individual leopards. The best way to do it is by looking at the spot patterns. And um, those spot patterns are like um, fingerprints basically. And we're able to identify each one because those spots are unique to it. We set it up where the animal will walk. We set up a left and right. And what that does is it allows us to capture the left and right hand side of the same individual. Okay, now we've got our camera armed, set up secured, and it's now ready to go. Hopefully get some leopards. I really get excited when we find any leopard sign and for me it's just the anticipation of seeing what data we're going to get. By protecting the leopard you end up protecting the whole ecosystem. So we really need to take the message of, of why leopards are important and to help people to understand how they're connected to that. To live with animals like leopards is, is exciting and uplifting and I think that it can spark a greater love of nature. If people can love leopards here then they are going to start to love all sorts of things. So once we've set up this entire grid of camera traps, the waiting game starts. And hopefully in a few weeks when we get back to the camera traps and we download the cards, we will have a bunch of lucky packets full of leopard photographs.